Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. And we just finished up our two day expansion mastermind. And I wanna share with you some of the key things that were discussed in this mastermind that will help you grow your traffic, leads and sales within your business. We talked about some pretty big stuff. Our expansion mastermind is a very specific group of clients, okay? We have a few different coaching programs. We help people from the ground up. They're trying to build a webinar for the very first time. They're trying to launch YouTube ads for the very first time. They're launching their offers for the very first time. We have other programs for that. Expansion is a group of clients that have already succeeded in those areas of their business. They're already doing 10, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 a month with their coaching programs, with their courses, with their funnels, with their ads. And now they're looking to get to that next level. Now they're looking to turn multiple six figures a year into multiple seven figures a year. And that was some of the stuff we discussed around a table here in our offices. We host these masterminds in-house, in our HQ, with our team, in our boardroom, and some of the conversations were absolutely amazing. And I wanna share with you the top four things that we discussed that helped everyone in the room and I think it'll help you too. So on the first part of the first day, we actually talked a lot about offer creation, right? Everyone in the room in that mastermind already have coaching programs, courses, offers. Um, and so we were talking about adding an additional offer or restructuring the one that you already have right now so that we can build it for scale. And to set a bit of context for you, there are a few different ticket levels when it comes to creating offers, right? We've got low ticket, mid ticket, high ticket, top tier. There are other things that can slot in, but those are the four key ones. And really where you want to start if you're in the information and education business is high ticket. So with that set, we were talking about price versus deliverables, right? Do we decide on the price of our offer first and then decide what am I gonna create? What am I gonna give someone when they pay me that much? Or do we decide on deliverables first and then price it? So I want you to pause the video right now and let me know in the comments which one do you think it is? Do we price first or do we create the deliverables first? Pause it, go let me know. Well, the answer is actually pricing first and then deciding on deliverables. Here's why. We can often get stuck in this way of thinking that we can raise our price relative to how much we give. So if we're first determining what we're giving and then give it a price, now if we wanna put our prices up, we feel we have to add more, include more, make our offer bigger, give more time uh, that, they, that the client gets with us. The price that we charge is almost completely irrelevant of what they're actually getting, and here's why. When someone pays, let's say $5,000 is the price that you've decided on. When someone uh, decides to pay $5,000 to you to join your program, they're not paying for the stack and what, you're what they're actually getting. They're paying for the result, right? What they want is the result that that program is gonna help them achieve. So price is relative more to the result than it is actually what's included. Furthermore, we decide on the price first and then we identify what avatar what potential client we want to attract who would be willing to pay that. When we decide on price first, now we know what corner of the market we're trying to go to. And again, someone who's willing to pay high ticket is not gonna say no because they don't get one extra PDF that they might've got somewhere else. No, they're paying for the result and it's the type of person. There's a bunch of other stuff that of course we, we discussed, but this is the big thing. Price first, then create your offer and make sure the deliverables are leverage so that you can scale that offer even at a high ticket price. Second thing I wanna share with you that we spoke about was the update with YouTube ads. You know, I had my my head media buyer and now our marketing manager in that meeting. Um, his name's Aaron, he's been with me for six years. You know, he spends well over $100,000 of our company's money on paid media every single month and gets a phenomenal return on that. A big part of where he spends our cash is on YouTube and running these simple YouTube ads. And so we're just talking about some of the updates and you know what's working right now, what used to work, what doesn't anymore. I haven't got time to cover everything, but one thing I do wanna share is that we're finding that slightly shorter YouTube ads are actually working better now than they used to. Go back a couple years, we used to like doing two, three, four minute YouTube video ads, and we were finding that that length was aiding getting the attention of the right person, uh, you know, indoctrinating them into who we are and what we're about before they make the click. What we're finding is that with an increase of people advertising on YouTube and more competition now, we wanna get in front of someone quickly, share what our message is quickly, and get them to make that click so that we take them off YouTube 
onto our website or into our sales funnel. So we're actually finding 60 seconds and you know 75 second ads are actually working quite well right now. So that's the second update for you. Shorter YouTube ads are actually working better. Here's the third thing I wanna talk about. We discussed in this mastermind where me and my company is at you know, right now, we are operating at around half a million dollars a month. Last month, we did 535,000 thereabout. Um, and this month, we're well on track to, to top that. And so we were discussing with our members there in the mastermind, you know, what we're doing to create that level of consistency. There are other gurus in our space that would talk about, you know, a hundred thousand dollar day or even a million dollar month. But then if you have a look at their track record, that might have been a bit of a fluke. It might have been a bit of a one-off. They pulled all their marketing power and resource into that one month and had an incredible month, but the next month is terrible. And the month before that was terrible. What we've seen with our company is that we're constantly growing. We're growing month on month. We're, we're not just producing more revenue, we're producing more profit. And so we're sharing how we are going about doing that and in such a comfortable place. And again, I want to share with you one of the key things we touched on, okay? It is understanding and tracking every number in your company, okay? We have just been in growth mode for a while. We can sometimes lose track of the numbers and we're just throwing everything at our marketing to just grow. And actually, once you start to have a really good idea of your numbers, how many clients for each of your programs you would need to hit your revenue goals, where you're currently at on those projections, how much your traffic is costing you, how much you can afford to pay for your traffic to still remain profitable, how much you can afford to pay to acquire a lead, and you've got these benchmarks in every area of the company, suddenly you can grow predictably because as soon as anything goes over the number that you've set, you kill those ads or you kill that traffic source or you pull it back down or you top up that revenue because you know you're in a deficit with something else in the company, maybe an email promotion to your list, but you can operate like that because you know your numbers. I can't stress that enough. We have Google Sheets for everything, so we always know exactly where we are every day and every week of the month so that we can be on track to hit our projections and hit our goals. Fourth and finally, one of our expansion mastermind members, his name's Phil Harris, you can look him up on, on Instagram. He's doing some really cool stuff with organic. He's staying ahead of the curve with what is working for engagement on the Instagram platform um, and how he can not only continue growing his account, but actually turn those viewers, those followers into revenue. A lot of people just talk about growing on social media in the sense of followers, likes, engagement. Not that many people talking about revenue out the other end. Last month he did 40,000 pounds in profit after every expense in his company and it was 100% down to his organic growth on Instagram and then doing a call to action to his stuff. And what he's doing at the moment is focusing on very, very short pieces of content, less than 20 seconds and then he's building his following with that and he's obviously selling in his stories and every now and again he'll do an invitation, a call to action to message him a word on Instagram to show their interest in working with him and of course the conversation then happens in the DMs and he'll get on a phone call and he'll close them and he's closing 80% of the people he speaks to because they've had that level of indoctrination on his Instagram account. So feel free to go look him up and see what he's doing because he's doing some very, very interesting stuff. So that's what I got for you today. And if this stuff is interesting to you, if this feels like the conversations that you want to be a part of, we're going to be opening up some spots to our expansion mastermind again very, very soon. There's a link below in the description box in the top comment uh, to an application page and a waiting list for that mastermind. Let us get to know you. Uh, let us know where you're currently at in business. If you sell courses, coaching, services, consulting, you're already successful, but you're looking to get to that next level and you want to surround yourself with like-minded people chasing the same goals and you want to get close to me and my team and sit around a boardroom like we just did and have these types of conversations, then we'd love to have a chat and see if our expansion uh, mastermind would be a good fit for you. So click the link, fill that out, let us get to know you. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We're putting out a bunch of new content just like this on a weekly basis. And also do me a favor, hit the like button, drop me a comment. Let me know which of these four things resonated with you the most and I'll see you in a future video.